Over the course of the pandemic, psychiatrists say anxiety and depression in children and teens has become three to four times more prevalent. It's been very tough for a lot of these young people. It's a health crisis that researchers are working hard to address, and now they have a new program to help with that. CBS 17's Maggie Newland joins us live now to explain. Maggie. Rod, psychiatrists tell me our state ranks near the bottom when it comes to mental health resources for children and teens. Tonight I spoke with a young man who knows firsthand the struggles that mental health issues can place on teens, their family, and their friends. Banks Bridger always admired the captain of his wrestling team. Caleb was going to wrestle at college. Like, he won the state tournament. Like, he was, like, going places. He didn't realize his friend was struggling with mental health issues until he learned of his death by suicide. You're not expecting one of your best friends or someone that's like so close to you in life to just pass away. It was the second friend who died that way in just a year. Suicide is the second leading cause of death in this age group. Dr. Samantha Meltzer Brody, the head of UNC's psychiatry department, says many children and teens were already struggling with mental health and the pandemic has made it worse. It is a massive public health crisis. It's so important that we figure out how we're going to help them and how we're going to develop novel ways of approaching the mental health needs. UNC researchers plan to do that through a new program called the Child and Adolescent Anxiety and Mood Disorders Program. The nonprofit found Foundation of Hope donated a million dollars for research and clinical trials to find new ways of treating young people. It's something Dr. Melcher Brody says is desperately needed. North Carolina um, is ranked in, in the newest report 42 out of 50 in terms of states in the country in terms of resources available for kids and adolescents with mental health. Maybe other kids won't have to go through what I'm going through. Banks, who now works to raise awareness about mental health, hopes the research will enable more young people to get help. And he hopes anyone who is struggling now will reach out and tell someone. And when you can talk about it, you can get the help you need.